Hello everyone, in this video I will have a brief idea of Swear syndrome. Now, once you want to uh, read the Swear syndrome and once you want to understand the Swear syndrome, then you should first understand androgen insensitivity syndrome. I have a video on that. Please see that video and then come to here because this will make you very very easier to understand the Swear syndrome and also just to uh, get differentiate between these two similar looking diseases and most of the students get problem in these two diagnosis why because the karyotype is same here in AIS or is a swear syndrome the karyotype is same of male karyotype both of this kind of uh, persons stay born as a female and what is the very basic difference between two? What is the very basic difference between these two symptoms? The test is here is working and present. Here the testes are there but they are dysgenetic, non-working. Testes is present in both persons because obviously the karyotype is 46XY. But in AIS, testis is working well. They are producing what they should produce. It's a problem with the androgen that the androgen cannot act. Here, the testis are not working. They are not producing the things which they should produce. And one of this amount, one of this substrate or product is AMH anti mullerian hormone in AIS testis is working so the AMH is present and that's why if one the AMH is present then the mullerian duct will not develop and once the mullerian duct will not develop the person here in AIS will not have uterus or tubes or even upper vagina that's final the testosterone is there in good amount but it cannot act so the testosterone is there but it cannot act that's why the person's wolfian duct will not be produced wolfian duct will not be there so here the male genitalia things will be not there and there will be a female genitalia because the testosterone cannot act it is present but it cannot act the wolfian duct is not there the male genitalia is not there instead of female genitalia is there this is happening with the AIS if you see the swayer side the testis is present but not working that's why the AMH is not there and that's why the Mullerian duct will be present and that's why this person have being a male the person will have uterus fallopian tubes and upper vagina so one thing is very very clear now if you see a person and if you see a uterus in that person that does not mean that yes the person may be a male also so this is the only syndrome in which a male is having uterus. So here because the testosterone is decreased the Wolfian duct it decreased it's not in uh, the amount that it should be that's why the Wolfian duct will not develop and the person will again have a female genitalia. Here the, test, uh, the testosterone is not there okay AMH is also not there. So uterus is there but again with female genitalia let's come to the beautiful thing which was weird about AIS in AIS the secondary sexual characteristic is well developed why because the testosterone is converted into the estrogen and estrogen is present in very good amount that's why the person will be looking like a female the feminine features of the male uh, of the person will be very on higher side and the female will be beautiful again here it is not there there are no sexual characteristics or very less kind of sexual characteristics are present because testosterone is almost absent some amount of testosterone is there estrogen is almost absent 
so this thing is a very 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 again a difference between these two is the breast development will be very good in ais because estrogen is present here the breast will be less developed why because both of these are in very very few amount they have they don't present in a good amount so breast will be developed but not very well if you talk about pubic hair in ais no there will be no pubic hair because you need to androgen to act so pubic hair will be not there but in swear syndrome pubic hair is there but not very well developed sparsely developed so this is a very interesting difference between ais and swear syndrome thank you